I was just going to wish you all a happy new year. You always beat me to it, Liz. How, how lovely to see you all. <laughs> well, we have no members of the public, and you all know all about the fire, fire regulations and switching your phones off, etc. So, uh, you don't. Okay, David, well, you... <laughs> You follow the others then, David, if, if the fire alarm goes off. <laughs> All right. Good evening, members. Uh, first item on the agenda is the minutes of the meeting which took place on the 7th of December 2016 have been laid on the table for the last 30 minutes. Are you content that I sign these as a correct record of that meeting? Thank you very much. Have there been any apologies for absence, Emma? Yes, we have apologies from councillors Simon Thornton, Stephen Reynolds and Tom Martin. Thank you. Have members declared any interest before the meeting? Uh, before the meeting, we have councillor David Alce has declared a pecuniary interest in planning item B2 and as he is the agent, as a result, councillor Morris Byron will take over as chairman for consideration of that item. And also, uh, councillor Andrew Bolton has a non-pecuniary interest in planning item B1 as he knows the applicant. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Do members have any other non-pecuniary or disclosable pecuniary interest to declare? Jolly good. Have there been any questions received from members of the public, Emma? Uh, none before the meeting, Chairman. Jolly good. Um, officers, are there any updates to government guidance or legislation that the committee should be aware of? There are none in relation to the items on this agenda. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, in the event of site inspections being necessary as a result of consideration of the applications at this meeting, these will be held on Monday the 6th of February 2017 at a time to be agreed. Now to move on to the planning applications, first is item B1, erection of a single storey extension at Whitefell, 85 Busbridge Lane, Godalming, GU7 1QQ. Tim, would you like to introduce the application to the committee, please? Thank you, Chairman. Uh, members, the application is before you because the applicant is an employee of the council. Um, it's the application site, uh, detached residential dwelling in a residential area in Busbridge Lane, Godalming. This is an aerial view of the dwelling. The proposal actually is in this area here. Um, this shows you this a rear photo of the rear elevation of the house on site. The proposal is for a lean to single story extension in this area here. Um, you can see the neighbours, looks to be they've had a, an extension um, built uh, that side. Um, you can see the rear building line and the fence line here. It's a bit closer up here for you. Um, proposed elevation, so the, looking at the rear, that's it there. Um, view from the side and the side here. Um, so the proposal is for a fairly um, standard single storey rear extension. It would extend the family room um, here, and there's three roof lights going in the roof. Um, so with this application, it's within the settlement boundary, um, and so the main considerations are the design impact and visual amenity, and the impact of residential amenity. Um, there is one up, verbal update actually to the report, where there's a, a typo on page 13, uh, second paragraph down, where elevation of adjoining property number 85. It should read number 83. So that's just that. Um, so overall, Chairman, um, officers satisfied with proposals acceptable and recommendation be granted. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Councillor Martin. Um, thank you. I can see no possible objection uh, to this, uh, and I will propose that we agree the officer's recommendation. Agreed. Jolly good. That's easy. So the recommendation to grant permission is uh, agreed by everybody and I will leave you. That was short and sweet, but it's lovely to see you all again. <laughs> there I'm, Morris. I'll get, I'll get my pen back another evening. <laughs> Well, good evening and a happy new year to you all as well. 
I've never seen such a happy planning committee. Actually, it's wonderful to hear them all so cheerful and chatty to each other. Is it because there's no contentious issues? That's good. So we have gone to item B2, which is WA 2016-2307. And this is an item is the erection of a single-storey front extension following the demolition of an existing single-storey front extension at 79 Summers Road, Godwin GU7 3BE. Tim, would you like to present the application? Thank you, Chairman. Uh, members of the application site outlined here in red, uh, northwestern side of Summers Road. Um, it is obviously in a re residential area. Um, this is the existing elevation. The proposal relates to the actual front story, front flat elevation you can see here, just coming up the front of the property. This is the proposal, um, essentially on the same footprint as existing, um, but it would replace it with a proper pitch roof, with a uh, crown flat behind it. Um, with matching materials to the to the host dwelling. Um, here's just a proposed floor plan. Um, actually, the, yeah, the existing is is the same footprint as footprint that. Um, and here's some site photographs. So the proposal would be here. So that essentially a new roof across here. Um, Neighbouring property there and adjoining neighbours there. Um, Again, within the settlement boundary, this, this site and therefore design and visual amenities for consideration and impact on residential amenity. Um, and officers are obviously satisfied, permission can be granted. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, this again is a very modest uh, proposition. I can see no possible objection. I would, um, indeed, it's an improvement. I would uh, propose that we agree with the officer's recommendation. Is that agreed? Thank you very much. Well, that concludes the meeting. After 12, 12 minutes, of which only seven were, were in the chairman and vice chairman were here anyway. Is, is it time to go to the pub now? That's the question. Just, just as a point of order, Chairman, at the very beginning, you said the minutes of the meeting were held on the to be held on the to be shown on the table in front of us. Well, we couldn't have but seen them because of the previous planning meeting. Could, could we say the minutes would be in the me members' room in future? We'll make sure there's a copy put outside so um, you can see them. All right. And Sorry. The, and, Sorry. And, and in. Uh, <laughs> And as another point, as another point, they are on MogGov as well. They are, they are published on MogGov, so you can see them prior to that. So if you've uh, invested yourself in a tablet, uh, tablet computer and are able to look at that, then you can see it all well before and very quickly after the meeting normally.